What up, what up, what up? Out. Richard, control that. What up, peeps? Happy Friday. I still need a seat with weight limit. How y'all doing? Happy Friday, Kane. We're going to get started here in just a second. Keep my music bumping up. Y'all been all right? Who we got in chat? Holla at me. Am I too bright? I feel like I'm too bright on you. Better? There we go. Can be blind, y'all. We just got a three star DT, top DT. Beast. What up, CJ Miami Canes? Check this out, man. I'm so hyped every day. Hey, if you guys haven't checked out the background, I am live from the Mercedes Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia, with a Super Bowl about to be held. No, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> I wish so. Y'all doing all right? Who we got in chat? What's up, Luke? Hey, this is my this is my fake stadium. Them tickets were stupid too. What up, David? Y'all doing all right? I wish I was going to the Super Bowl. I ain't gonna lie. See them Patriots get a little slap slap on that booty. Oh, what am I drinking? It's funny you say that. My wife is getting her taxes done, so I got my Kane's beer. Brand doesn't matter as long as it's in the Kane's cup. I had to make my own happy box. It's got my limes, my tequila, and my shot glass. So I'm ready. So I don't have to get up. <laughs> David said, we already know DJ Star. No. Jaron Harrison Hunt is our DT. Nice. Oh, yeah, I'm a fool. It's Friday, too, man. I just got over the flu. My whole house was sick this week, man. That's why I ain't do nothing since, uh, what we do, Tuesday? Monday and Tuesday. My whole house is sick, man. Wife just went back to work today. Uh, I just got out of the bed. I'm backed up on homework, film stuff. Man, it's ridiculous. Everybody in chat, please put your information there. Let me know who I'm talking to. I'd like to say hello. It's your boy, Director Shield Cyber TV. We're getting ready to get started. So if you guys did tune in last week, we did the quarterbacks. What up, Crip? We did the quarterbacks draft. Um, we had a lot of Williams. I mean, look, look at me. Uh, no, we did. We had a lot of Williams, Jaron Williams, and we had a lot of tape. We had a few. Uh, what's up, Isaiah? I know Harrison Hunt. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah. We're going to be nasty. So today we're going to pick our, our running backs. We're going to go through the running backs, see what we got, see what we want. I, I ain't going to let y'all call in. You know how we do NMD. I got, I got my care package. The wife's getting her taxes. I got my Miami faithful. The brand doesn't matter as long as it's in the Miami Cup. I also have my personal to-go box for you guys. I don't have to get up for the show. Yes, and I have my salt here, too. We're not playing tonight, baby. We're not playing tonight. I'm going to let you guys call in and check it out. Once again, it's your boy, Direct Chill Simon TV. We are going to get started here. I hope everybody's having a good Friday, man. Like I said, I'm just not getting over the flu. My whole house has been sick in this mug. It sucks. Yeah, he said, be careful. Anthony will call again. You never know. I don't mind you guys calling in. We're, like I said, we'll try to keep it short again. We're going to go through our running backs. Some people say that it doesn't even matter because regardless, we're going to be stupid fat. Yeah, I like to stay lit. Actually, my best streams with you guys is when I'm lit. Um, oh, pre Yeah, please like the videos, you guys. I'm going to do some more news editing stuff for you guys. Probably uh, I'm going to do the recruiting 2019 recap. With the whole news joint live from Coral Gables. And my information's in chat. Please support the channel if you can. We got a lot of stuff. I'm getting the slapping TV shirts made with the U and then slapping TV under it. So you slapping. Um, we like to get up in there. We're gonna give away those free. Um, so I got those in the works for you guys. So, anyhow, without further ado, let me turn on my music. I don't know. Y'all like what little music in the background? As long as you can hear me, huh? So as far as we go right now. Um, transfer wise, I'm gonna start with the first. The first guy is the transfer. Yes, I'm gonna put my number in chat. Just give me one second, Luke. I'm gonna go over their names. I'm putting it in chat. And I'm handing it over to you guys. Um, as far as transfers go, uh, Aston Martin, the Arpen transfer, was Alabama 2017. He two years ago for Auburn, he ran or two years ago for Mr. Alabama. Uh, 2017 senior year he ran for 2228 yards 33 touchdowns 198 carries um he is applying for waiver 
Sorry, I do talk a little fast. Oh, are you talking about putting my number in? All right, we're good. The more I drink, the slower I talk. Um, but anyhow, so Aston Martin is is applying for waiver to start this season. Um, and everybody's saying they're unknown how realistic the waiver will be. So that's first up. Um, running back wise, we have a Crispy and Atkins, 5'9", 185 junior. He'll be a senior next year. Steve Larson, 5'6", 172. He'll be a sophomore. Uh, Robert Burns, 5'11", 215, freshman. He'll be a sophomore. Of course, DJ Dallas, 5'10", 200. He'll be a junior. DJ Dallas has been putting on a lot of weight. Isaiah says, Asa Martin's um, um, uh, immediate play, I'm probably butchering whatever that phrase is, but immediate play transfer will probably be blocked. I mean, it's Miami. They hate us. Um, so that was DJ Dallas, 5'10", 200 plus. He'll be a junior. Cam Davis, 5'10", 190. He'll be a sophomore from Opelika. I think he's bigger than what they got him listed at. I think Cam Davis. They, right now, they're saying that DJ Dallas is bigger than Cam Davis, and they're the same height. So I'm not sure if I agree with that. Of course, we're losing uh, Trayvon Gray, which is actually listed as a running back, played fullback last year. And Travis Homer is going to the draft. And your boy, Lorenzo Lingard, six foot two oh two freshman. That's interesting. I just looked at that. We talked a lot about – I didn't. I personally talked a lot about putting DJ Dallas at slot, but, hell, Lingard six foot. So let me see what you guys got. BJ isn't 200 pounds anymore. He was 225 at the beginning. That's what I thought. Um, and I'm on ESPN.com right now on their roster. So, like I said, and like I said, they still have Travis Homer and Gray on there. So, of course, it's not fully updated. Um, yeah, Isaiah says Lingard. Hold on. I'm about to cut the volume up on my phone so you guys can call him. Uh, Lingard, Davis, but Asa Martin, three. I mean – like I said, I'm all down. I don't really I'll, – I'll tell you. Hey, thank you, Primetime Mixtape, for subscribing. Primetime Mixtape, if you do mixtapes, holler at me. It is your boy, Calvin Capone. I am an artist as well. So, CJ's got Davis, Lingard, and three, anybody but Dallas. Oh, what do y'all think about that? CJ Miami Kane says, number one, Cam Davis, number two. Lorenzo Lingard, and number three, anybody but DJ Dallas. In other words, like they see on ESPN, he's taking the field on the third pick. What do y'all think about that? I like Dallas at running back, but he could do everything. I, I agree. I think he's going to get a lot of special team love, personally. If again, if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, comment. My information is in chat. If you can support the page, I appreciate it. We got a lot of stuff coming for you guys. We are building the page and we are doing things. So the background that you see is courtesy of the Slapping TV fans. So they paid for that. They paid for my other ones too. And MD says DJ is a game breaker. Got to hold on to the ball. I agree. Got to drop the fumble rooskies. Can't be doing it, man. We got to get rid of the fumbling. So let me get up. I'm going to put my number in chat. We're going to get you guys started. Let you call in. I'm going to sit back, relax, and get a lizard. I'm going to let y'all talk. What up, Jose? You still at work, though? Hey, it's all good. I remember I, I did one of my videos and posted it live, and I was watching myself, interview myself on a video in class. And my teacher was like, you in three places at one time. That shit was fucking funny. It was a film class of mine. DJ and JR. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, DJ Dallas will be a junior this year. He's a he's listed as a sophomore on ESPN site. So he'll be a junior. I agree, CJ Kings. I don't like the fumbling. I, I'm not I'm not a fan of the fumbling. All right. We're getting ready to do our running back draft. Hey, let's try it this way. You guys call in. I'm going to introduce myself. I'm going to ask you who you are. Tell me who you are. Tell me, I'll take your top three. Let's do your top three picks, your top three, and why. That'll probably make it about a four-minute each call, but can they be true?
Sorry, it's the wife. Okay. Info's going up in chat. I'm going to let y'all have at it. Um, if you guys do not have my number, I'm going to put it in chat. Save it to your phone. Message me um, your first name and then slap him. And then I will save it under that. And then that way, if I get any information or before I go live, I'll just text you guys. Because for some, for some reason, YouTube doesn't notify everybody on time. 470-422-0060. It's your boy, Director Chill. We are live from the Sadie's Bend Stadium, home of Super Bowl, oh shit, 53, um, where you have the Los Angeles Rams going against the Patriots again. No, I'm just kidding. I wish I was at the game. This is the backdrop y'all paid for, though. <laughs> he, had, I know, he had two games where he fumbled, one was raining. I don't know. I just, I figured, like, I don't know. Maybe we're just overstating it. Can we... Prime time. Can you tell me what games that he fumbled in? I want to go back and look at those and see how bad they were. I know one of them. I think the Virginia game, he had three fumbles in one game. You said he had two games where he fumbled and one game where it was raining. All right, CJ Miami Canes, thank you for adding that. I will add you on there. CJ Miami Canes, anytime that um, I go live, I will message you. Yes, Jared Harrison is a cane. That is true. Uh, Duke and Georgia Tech, we should have won both of those games. That was pathetic. Like I said, my number, 470-422-0060. It's your boy, Director Chill. Please send me your information. If you guys want to have notifications on when I will be going live, then I will do it myself. We will not rely on YouTube. I got a call coming in from Chi-Town. Oh, my goodness. Is it Kanye West or Obama? It better not be Kanye. And give me just a second, guys. Hello, it's your, boy, it's your boy, Director Shield Slapping TV. Who are we talking with? Uh, Luke. Hey, what's up, Luke? Hey, uh, so, 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 uh, back, uh, yeah, let me get your top three, Luke. Okay. Uh, from this year, or are you talking about uh, like his high school stuff? Uh, against, uh, oh yeah, Savannah State. Savannah State. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, I see, I did see that. I wish he would have had a little yeah. more game gameplay in there, but I, I mean, think. I, I, yeah, I mean, he's definitely improved. Like, I think he had like a thousand yards and like thirty touchdowns in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
Uh huh. Oh yeah, we could, and I think uh, this year, uh, uh, like I forget about DJ Dallas. Although I don't think he's gonna win the starting job, but I think Mark Lewis can not know how to utilize DJ Dallas. I think the new uh, offense, Danito, utilize DJ Dallas. Okay, so you saying that? I mean, so you, so, and you're saying you're you're runner up, which I mean, granted, we have. Uh, five, six running backs on the roster, but yeah, he, your runner up is going to be DJ Dallas. Yes. Okay. He can do a little bit of everything. I mean, I know we keep hitting on those fumbles. Um, let me. I, I got to look at this. Um. Oh, by the way, Luke, do you mind if I add you to our um going live list? I'm gonna start sending you guys out texts before I go live. Uh, I don't go. I don't mind. Okay. Cool. So I add you to the list. I want to thank you for calling. Um. And man, anytime, Luke. It would definitely get up. All right. Um, that's a good point to make. Um, Lingard is speed agility. Cam Davis is the power guy. Aston Martin, the guy from Auburn, was Mr. Alabama at Auburn. Um, could be a really good one. And then everybody, I mean, let me just not say everybody. Luke got DJ Dallas as his, basically the fourth guy. And let's keep it real. Somebody's going to get hurt. NMD do it everything production. Hey, I try to, man. They call me the Swiss Army knife in the entertainment business. So yeah. Oh, that's everything production. Oh, I thought you were talking about me. Damn. I just saw his name. All right. Anyhow. Um, so we got Luke from Chi-Town, Lingard, Cam Davis, Aston Martin, DJ Dom. Before I take the next caller, let's look at this real quick. I know I keep harping on fumbles, and I keep saying that he had a lot of fumbles. And I'm talking about Mr. DJ Dallas. Um, where are the pro canes up in here? I know, I know, uh, we got some pro canes, and I know we got some regular canes, and I know we got some fake canes. All right, that doesn't make sense because ESPN is not showing his fumble stats. Um, they're saying he is 109 for 617, 5.7, six touchdowns. Longest was 83 yards. He had 10 receptions for 85, average 8.5 yards, and his longest 26. That's all they're saying. DJ Dallas does not fumble a lot. Everyone always said, I know, David. I don't know. It's just that what game was it? And ESPN's not even showing his fumbles. I know he had, I know he had multiple fumbles in a game or two. Here we go. Here we go. He had one fumble versus Pitt. He had one fumble versus Georgia Tech. He had two fumbles versus Duke. That was the last five games. Hold on. Let me look at all of them. Yep. David, I just seen that. Hey, what's up, ZJ Joe? ZJ 12, uh, 13. Damn, I'm stumbling over. I already didn't have too much tequila. ZJ 13, the GOAT, was happening. All right, let me look at this again. He had one against Pitt, like I said, once against Georgia Tech, two against Duke. He had none against Virginia. He didn't fumble the first half of the year. Well, over the first half. All right, so let me put this down. DJ Dallas had five fumbles all five fumbles on. Let's see how many attempts, though. So. Cause really that's that honestly because it's it's a percentage thing, right? On 109 attempts, he had five fumbles. Anybody want to do the math for me? Five into 109. Um so he fumbles what eight. 18% of the time is that least less than that. Yeah, David, I didn't see any fumbles here before. I was just looking at the last five games. Um, so there you go. So DJ Dallas is not fumble as much as we say it does. 4%. Thank you, David. I'm not good at math. I said 25%, but yeah, 4%. Yeah. Okay. So DJ Dallas only fumbles 4% of the time. Um, he had five fumbles in the last year or two. Where I'm gonna say that. All right, I'm putting my number back in chat again. It's your boy, Director Chill Slapping TV. We are doing our running back draft of 2019. Who would you like to have? We're doing top three though. Uh, let's say we're an NFL team, so we're gonna have a, a speed guy, power guy, a catcher out of the backfield, random, right? We got four that we would say we are picking from, but I want I do want to know y'all's order. Um, again, please support the channel. We got some big things going on. I am live from Mercedes-Benz Stadium. I love saying that's just hilarious. This is a background y'all pay for, by the way. This is not Mercedes-Benz Stadium. 
If it was, man, I would be going live there. That'd be mad stupid. All right. Give me one second. I'll put my information up in chat. And then I'm going to have the next call in. Also, when you see my number in chat, if you do not or you're not able to call in, please send me a text. Give me your name and put slapping after it. I will save you in my phone. And then when it is time for me to go live or when I do go live, I will send you a notification straight up. You don't have to worry about YouTube not doing their job. It's easier for me to do it than for them to do it every day. Okay, there's my information. You guys, please donate if you can. They said not on Lingard that he couldn't block well. Lingard is the smallest. He's 200. Um, but he's also the tallest. He's 6'1", 200. Uh, there's one thing to block, and there's one thing to bump and run. So if he's just doing a quick bump to um, – Let's say a linebacker just hold him for a second and then split out. Lingard is six foot two oh two. So I don't see why he couldn't. There's a difference between not being able to block and person that doesn't want to block. So all right, let me I'm you know what, David, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. I'm not sure if you're gonna call in. Um, uh, but David, he says Dallas Davis Lingard. Um, David, do you have running back committee? I agree. David, do you have Aston Martin at four? I mean, it's really, it's not really anybody else left. Not like, Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Robert Burns. Why do I want to say that he's got, they moved him to a different position. I know we had already, I'm guessing that's his brother, but all right. So David, I've got DJ Dallas, um, um, Cam Davis, Lorenzo Lingard, all right. And then I guess you got three or four at an ASA. It says, so Robert Burns is the fullback now. Yeah, they still have him listed at running back. Robert Burns, 5'11", 215. Okay, that makes sense. That's probably why I haven't seen him on here in a minute. <laughs> Primetime makes sense. Robert Burns is trash. I hope they move him to fullback. So I'm guessing he's moving to fullback. Um, Real George is the other fullback. Real George, we were looking at last week. 6'2", 255. That was last year. That's a fucking fullback for your ass. So we, we shall she, see how that turns out. Um, I'm right, putting my information back in chat. If you guys want to call in, you can. If not, I will pull it out of the chat and write it down. Um, four seven zero four two two zero zero six zero. It's your boy, Director Show Slapping TV. Again, happy Friday. I hope you got paid today. I hope that you got your tax return sent in. Um, I hope you did not have to go through the flu situation as my whole house did. We all were sick as fuck. Wife just went back to work today. I definitely can use your donation, so please feel free to donate to the page and like, subscribe, and comment. We are getting now. Burns was solid. He has injury prone his first year in Miami. He had injuries. Okay. Could those injuries have something to do with a strength and conditioning coach who now is at Georgia Tech? Oh, again, my buddy KJ Stewart gets in, in chat. He's a close friend of mine. We used to work together. We're going to turn him into a Miami Hurricane fan. So if you see KJ Stewart in there, you tell him go Canes. If Tate doesn't go get the waiver, then Peyton will start. Hmm. George is going to be a beast. You think Peyton will start? David, that's interesting. I didn't get your comments last week. So you're saying Peyton Machado, um, if Tate Martell doesn't get to start, Peyton will start over DJ Dallas or over, um, I'm sorry, over Jaron Williams and Perry? Enos is high on Peyton. I did not know that. I've heard some things, but uh, he doesn't have a favorite team. He's not really a sports fan. His wife is a Iowa Buckeyes fan. She went there. So he doesn't have a team. He's not in the NFL or a college, but he watches our stream a lot. Sometimes he does the funny stuff. So he knows once. That's interesting. I think Peyton is going to redshirt too. I think we have too much depth at quarterback. 
that would be interesting though. What if he did start? Yes. What 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 a great problem to have. I mean, that's a great problem at at running back and receiver. I mean, I mean, or quarterback. I mean, really, uh, the first two positions are pretty. I think pretty simple. I'm really look, looking forward to the next room chat. Will be Sunday. We're gonna. Well, I can't do Sunday at Super Bowl. Unless you guys want to do like a live stream hangout on Sunday, but I really don't want to do go over the receivers. We'll probably do Sunday and do the receivers on Monday. But anyhow, yes, David, you're right. If that happens, people are going to start. Some people are going to leave. I think Tate Martell will be our starting quarterback. I think I want Jaron Williams, but I'm Team Perry. So, Peyton will start over Perry Williams. I don't know, man. I've seen Peyton. Peyton reminds me of Tate Martell, though. The only thing about Tate Martell, he's our shortest, and Peyton would be our tallest. Am I right? 6'2". Yeah, Peyton 6'3". Oh, K. Weldon, but, I mean, I don't really know what's up with K. Weldon. I'm surprised he's still on the team. I think he's going to graduate in three years and transfer out and play for one year. You said live chat on Sunday? I mean, we can do something where, like, I try to find the links and stuff for you guys. We probably won't talk a ton of my – well, we can talk anything you want to. But, if, I mean, if you guys want to do a live chat on Sunday – Y'all say yes. We can do it before the NFL game. We can do NFL score predictions. Um, if, if you guys want to do NFL score predictions before the game, the game starts at six thirty. You could do one, press one in chat, um, or we can do hell. We can do best damn, best damn commercial for the NFL. For all I care, I am going to be getting lit. It might be a different setup, though. I might have the camera in my whole living room. Ted Webb goes to the same high school as Trevor Lawrence went to. Yes, that is Carrollton High School in Georgia. About Carrollton. I'm oh, not Carrollton. Cartersville. Cartersville is about 20 minutes from where I live at. Justin Fields High School is about 20 minutes from, well, about 15 minutes from where I live at. And Jaron Williams High School is about 45 minutes from where I live at. That's how close the boys were from each other. Well, how close I am from them proximity. Again, quarterbacks. I've got uh, Luke from Chi-Town said Lingard because of speed, Cam Davis because of his power, Aston Martin and DJ Dallas batting. I don't know what you would call that. I'm not a baseball fan. Batting fourth. And then David said DJ Dallas, Cam Davis, and then Lingard, and then Aston Martin sweeping in and fourth. Philip Dorsett is playing in the Super Bowl Pro Kane. There are technically there are three Miami players. Next he might be four. I think there's, there's technically three Miami players playing for the Patriots. And you guys do not know Braxton Berrios is on the Patriots. Now he's might be on the practice squad. Um, but I believe practice squad gets rings. Yeah, they do. Actually, my old high school quarterback um was on the practice squad of Patriots. He's got two rings. Sam Shields for the Rams. So Sam Shields for the Rams. Philip Dorsett, Braxton Berrios is out there somewhere, and we're missing somebody else. I mean, if y'all want to get up for the Super Bowl, we can. I'll set the bitch up totally different. And just have it live and have y'all just chit-chat. I might have the camera behind me and then just shooting down to the TV. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully they don't, like, bounce us out of chat. But if we're running around during the Super Bowl, then maybe they won't fuck with us. I don't know. Everybody says I'll get kicked out of a stream. So, Procaine stream. What time y'all want to start Procaine stream? Game starts at 6 30. It's in Atlanta, too, man. I wish I could just go down there and just get up in there, but traffic is ridiculous right now. And I don't know everybody. Perry can't read a defense, and his snap count is way too predictable. Wait, you're talking about the Perry clap that that's the Perry right there. I taught my son that one because it's actually very simple. Barrios got hurt. I heard the Patriot level. I th- I believe so, Russell. Uh he reminds me of Elderman. He reminds me of um who's the other short white boy they had? I miss Braxton Barrios and <laughs> stupid clap. Yes, you're right. I miss Braxton Barrios because when we went 10 and 3, he caught so many balls. Just he got some stick em hands. I love Braxton Berrios. That's my guy right there, man. Wells Walker, thank you, Isaiah. See, I love y'all. Y'all like the other brain that I really don't have. Uh, <laughs> Peyton Manning would have struggled with Rick's shit offense. Uh, 
that clap ish was brought in by Rick. That's just weak. It's so predictable as far as timing for defensive linemen. Just imagine if we played in the SEC with some diehard defensive linemen. I mean, or defensive guys. We had the best defense in the ACC. I mean, I guess you could say except for Clemson. Their DBs were ridiculous. But as far as, like, defense, our overall defense, I believe, was ranked right neck and neck with Clemson or better. So, the rich John, I'm not even sure. I guess to do my own satisfactory shots because the wife is getting herself. The Perry does take a while to read a defense. He does. I mean, I don't know, man. We didn't. We only had like two people in stream last week that said they wanted. Um. Hey, thanks, Jose. I know duty calls, man. Hey, no problem. Go back and watch the video. Uh, we're gonna do Sunday. So let's. I'm gonna set up something Sunday. Do something funky. It'll be totally different in my living room. IQ does be talent any day. Um, hell, I mean, look at Tom Brady. David, I agree with you. I mean, I still think that he has enough talent that we could have beat. Um, hell, Duke, Georgia Tech, Virginia Tech, Boston College. I still think we could have beat all them with Perry in the game. Is any does anybody disagree with that? Perry could have still beat them. I under, I understand Wesley. I, I say I'm not dogging him. I agree. I still think Perry could have beat all four of those teams. And maybe he just didn't give a damn after, um, you know, shit kind of went went south, man. We lost some whack ass game. Besides LSU, I mean. I don't even know about Wisconsin. I think we could be, honestly. I don't think we. There's a team on our schedule that we lost to that we could we couldn't have beat. Yeah, he came back against Florida State. I think any quarterback that can beat Florida State should be given a chance. But then you know they pulled him against Virginia. Yeah, bad play, folks. I gotta set my, set up my own drinks right here. The wife is out. Kids are in there playing Xbox. David said, if Perry is our best quarterback, are in for a long season. I don't think Perry's our best quarterback anymore. I think Darren Wins has another year under his belt. Um, I think Tate Martell is ready. And I think I think um, Jaron Williams has another year under his belt as well, just watching. Now, the question is, did he really pay attention to all the stuff he was watching? Yeah, our, our defense really did help us. I mean, even even – First year turnover chain, um, which was 2017. Our defense was the one that from one to 10. Who Isaiah says it's going to be Jaron versus Tate. Anybody agrees with that? Put a one in chat because I'll take this shot because I need it. Put a one in chat if you believe it's going to be Tate versus Jaron. Oh, shit. Tate versus Jaron. Tate versus Jaron. Tate versus Jaron. I'm going to put a one in. Don't get me wrong. If Perry starts, I wouldn't be mad, but I still think it's going to be Tate versus Jaron. I agree with that. I think the, I think what's going to call is going to uh, um, um, Machoto. I think uh, Matacho. I'm fucking up his name. Look, until they actually say his name for the first time live on stream or live on ESPN, then uh, I'll get it right. But I still think it's going to be Jaron Williams versus Tate Martell. If uh, Tate can play. No, nope, no word yet on eligibility. If I am corrected, and someone correct me, correct me if I'm wrong, they do not make that decision till after recruiting day. Yeah, that's not going to be after till next week. After the recruiting deadline, then that's when they decide on who they're going to let pass through or not. Again, yeah, Wesley, I believe it's uh, Justin Fields already got his eligibility. Got to be shitting me. I did not know that. It's 
It's Ohio State, though. Oh, yeah. Any player that went to – any player that went to uh, Bishop Garland in Vegas, they're like an IMG Academy in Las Vegas. Um, your parents got money. David says, Georgia, I mean, I live in Georgia and I've been to that campus. Uh, I don't know, man. I've never been a fan of University of Georgia, period. So, I believe it was. I said, if they gave it to Fields, they might as well give it to Tate. I mean, why not? Justin Fields is taking his taking spot. Then Tate should be able to get his too. And not only that, Tate put in a year sitting on the bench. I mean, we'll put in what, a year and a half, two years? Yeah, two years. He registered his first year, then sat this year. Justin Fields only put in one year of sitting on the bench. So if anybody's earned it, Tate Martell has. All right, everything productions. People hate the University of Miami. Go watch our 30 for 30s. We have three. There's not a player or a team or a university that has three 30 for 30s. And then, you know, when we win our next national championship, we're going to have four. When they implemented all the um, um, unsportsmanlike conduct penalties in the 80s and 90s, guess what videos were? It was nothing but Miami clips. They hate Miami because of the swag. They just hate it. We didn't go out grabbing these Joe Montanas, and we didn't go out and get no Peyton Manning. We just recruited right where we're at. What up, Coach Mike? Coach Mike is out there doing a the thing. He's coaching the team right now. My boy, Coach Mike Steves, he switched it up. NCA hates Miami. Everybody hates when we're good. Everybody loves for us to lose. Yes, the reason why I'm like the U. You ain't got that. The U got that swag, man. That's that bullshit. Like, seriously. We give you a reason to hate us. Granted, nobody hated, my, uh, no, nobody hated Alabama until Nick Saban got there. I'm just keeping it real. Other than that, yeah, people hate Notre Dame because of their lineage. I mean, I guess on the West Coast, some people hate USC. I mean, can anybody tell me there's another school? I mean, Miami fans ain't Ohio State, but really? NCAA does love Ohio State. They got a long lineage. NCAA loves Notre Dame. They got a lot of alumni. They got bread in their pocket. Miami's also a private school. Out of all them schools, none of them are private universities. Miami is, though. Miami is smaller than the University of South Florida, probably by half as many students. Excuse the snake I just put out there. As long as Miami has a football team, they're going to hate us. As long as Miami is in Miami, they're going to hate us. Yeah, David, you're right. Like the U has, I mean, I think the biggest um, class that you had was like around 2001, 2002, and it was like 13,000. It was just tiny. FAU has like 43,000 students, or South Florida. Look, Florida State has over 200,000 students. I think South Florida has 40 something. The school that I live right next to, Kennesaw State University, is the third largest in Georgia, and they're at 31. Just imagine that. So you got a bunch of uh, these hard-nosed players that's got the swag going to a private school that most of these white kids can't even get into, yet their football team is off the chain. Honestly, Miami should be an Ivy League school. They got a doctor program and a lawyer program. I know. I was going to go to Miami Law School. Yeah, David said counting the off school. Yeah, I'm saying that. Keep. I don't know why your message was retracted. Oh, you took. Do you take it off? Okay. I normally will add you guys on there. So, yeah. Thank you. So UCF has forty eight thousand. I think South Florida and Tampa is just as big. Exactly. This little school that didn't have very many students and didn't have a football tradition started playing football fifty years after Florida State and they still ain't caught up. Everybody is happy when Miami loses. It's so funny. Miami has not been good for almost two decades, and they still hate on us. Realize, you guys realize this. It is, it is 2019. In two years, 
It'll be 20 years since Miami won their last national championship, and they still hate us. Paul Farmont talks about the shit school. Nobody wants to go there. Nobody wants to coach there. They got bad facilities. You know, we can thank Mark Rick for one thing. He hooked our facilities up. So what do y'all think? They love to hate us. And I love being hated on. You were six. Uh, let's see. 2001, I graduated high school. Damn, David. That's how much older I I was 18. I was recruited by Miami in 02. I graduated 01, recruited by 02. Well, somewhat recruited. They said I wasn't fast enough to play with them boys. I wasn't. I wasn't even going to smell the field. Them boys were so nasty. So, yes. So, yeah, man, I love the haters. If you're not getting hated on, then you're doing something wrong. Who hates on Florida? Who hates on Georgia? Notre Dame. Hell, Pittsburgh has nine national championships. Think about that. The University of Pittsburgh has nine national championships. Granted, they were from like the 40s to like the 80s. They have nine. No one says anything about Pitt. That indoor practice facility is banana. That's another reason why Manny Diaz was like, what? Temple, I'm sorry, but Mark Rick helped put the cash on that thing, and I'm about to bounce back and take over it. His office is inside the practice facility. They open up the side doors. If you've not seen the virtual reality, go look up, Google it. They open up the side doors. They can literally run from outside the field into the side field. They got two football fields inside the practice facility. They also have full weight room, lounge, the whole nine. It's dope. Exactly, Donnie, I agree. Anybody welcome to the page? Um, I don't really care about Florida Gators. They took us off the schedule. Notre Dame took us off the schedule. Nebraska scared of us. Uh, Ohio State, really, they took us off schedule. Like We used to play them all back in the days on a regular basis. We were in the Big East playing like an independent school. By the way, Florida State was an independent school for a while. Um, Prom Tom says everybody always says how we haven't been relevant, never want to talk about the sanctions. They never talk about the sanctions. Matter of fact, I think we just got all our scholarships back this year, even though we've been off sanctions since um, the end of Golden. We still, when Mark Rick stepped in, we only had five, 55 scholarships. I don't even know if we still got them back. No one talks about the sanctions, no one talks about how they wanted to give us the death penalty. We don't produce good NFL talent, prime time, mix it. We produce great. What up, Nate? Nate, we started talking about the running backs. Uh, I'll give you a little heads up. But right now, of course, we're all clear sanctions. Not yet. Um, Eric, I agree. I do hate the Gators. I respect FSU. I, they remind me of my cousins. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got cousins from out of state or whatever. You know what I'm saying? If you play against them, you don't like them, but you respect them. Florida Gators? Nah. Um Right now, Luke from Chi Town, he says he got Lingard number one, Cam Davis number two, Asa Martin if he can get cleared at number three, DJ Dallas at four. Davis says he's got Dallas, David, Lingard, and then uh, Asa Martin. We're always real different than pros. Always. Always. I would love to see if anybody could pull this stat. I don't even know where you would get it from. Find me the percentage of Miami Hurricane players that have went to the NFL draft that have rings. I bet you it's over 60%. Nate said, what do you think about the transfer Aston Martin? I only seen his high school stuff. Um, I was looking at his year at Auburn. So let me see. Um. I think he's going to be good. He's a, I mean, he's a little bowling ball. We're still trying to see if he's going to get clear, so we don't know yet. He played on Gus Malzahn. I mean, he had pretty good stats. Thank you, Wesley. You're, I agree. We don't just put players in the NFL. They don't just win rings. They are they they are pro bowlers. They are Hall of Famers. (laughs) 
Did you look at 22 and recruit the Brian Robinson highlights? I did not. His first clip, he shakes and outruns M-A-R. I don't like Bama players. Our players actually last. Our players do last in the NFL. Yeah, exactly. Even our decent players make the NFL roster. And not because it's a Miami thing. It's, it's not like USC where they got backup quarterback. Who's the backup quarterback? Matt Liner? Didn't he play a start and went in the draft and then bummed out? He should have bummed out. And even wasn't even able to start. Oh, Mark Anthony Richard. I did not know that. Yeah, man. My boys, do we put a lot of love in the NFL? I mean, other colleges might hate us, but no one can deny the fact that we got them players out there. We got them out there. Ray Armstrong. Yeah, Ray Armstrong still in the NFL. Um, who got hurt in the playoff game? Bad, too. Our boy got hurt this year in the playoff game. Broke that ankle. Uh, yeah, Hearns. Hearns got hurt. And, uh, man, that looked bad, too. I think he'll still come back. Injuries aren't like they used to be back when I played in 01, 02, where you mess up your back or your ACL and you're done. Now they have three, four, five in, uh, surgeries. Yeah, Alan Hearns. Alan Hearns was decent in Miami. Didn't have a great coach at the time. But, yeah, we're a B squad. Oh, again, I'm putting my number back in chat. Um, I'll let you guys know, if you uh, have not liked, subscribe, comment, please do. It's your boy, Dirk Chill, Slap TV. Um, I do a lot of stuff for Miami Hurricanes. I'm a diehard Miami Hurricane fan. Um, you guys text me your phone number and information. What up, Demetrius? Um, text me your name, um, and you can even do slapping. I got a call from Penn, Pennsylvania. Hold on one second. This is Comcast calling about your recent visit to our Comcast retail location. Yeah, I hate Comcast. Uh, anyhow, <laughs> um, you guys text me your name and slapping afterwards. And I will make sure that I'm going to start sending out mass texts to let you know when I'm going to go live. Fridays, I think we got 6.30 locked in. Um, 6.30, we're going to go live. We're going to do something. Um, I try to do like a Monday or Tuesday, go live. Probably do Monday, starting a couple weeks. I got a new film class to be on Tuesday, so that's going to get a little hectic. Uh, and I try to do later in the day so y'all can get off from work. Um, I don't like to do too late because my wife gets off from work and the kids be doing their thing. So weekends, I think we're going to do we're going to do Sunday. Um, do y'all want to do during the game, during the Super Bowl on Sunday? I'm probably going to set up the live stream and put my, um, and put my thing up over the shoulder. What up, Raji? Uh, Raji, we're just going over some running back situation. Not a lot of people disagreed. Um, for the most part, we got Dallas, Cam Davis, Aston Martin, and then DJ Dallas. Um, and then we got Dallas, David, Lingard, and then Aston Martin. Really, everybody's saying quarterback by committee. Um, quarterbacks can play, call, and a change uh, outcome. I agree. Do you think Bubba Bolton is going to start? Yes. I think Bubba Bolton. I think we're going to – those three Bishop Garwin players, especially if Tate Martell starts, it's going to be so nasty. I just think their swag, like, in practice, it might not be, of course, like one of them plays on defense, the safety, but I think just them as, like, a squad, right? And then, of course, you got the Miami boys that play together as a squad. No, no, you got I, IMG players. You've got um, um, Miami Central. You've got North Miami. You got Dillard High School. You got Deerfield. Like, all these boys are going to, like, they're going to click up, but they're still going to play good together. That's going to cause our full team awareness of what we got. So, I'm definitely down with all that. St. Thomas Aquinas, Aquinas. I love St. Thomas. That's in Fort Lauderdale. The boys is nasty. They wear that blue and gold. And I live in Georgia. Tate is swag. I agree. Tate equals swag. He's got that. If you guys haven't checked it out, go watch QB1. I had already watched Tate Martell's stuff, and then I went and rewatched it um, after I realized that he was on there. 
Um, and you can see Justin Fields on there as well. I don't think Jaron Williams is on there, or maybe he is for like a short period of time. But yeah, definitely check it out, man. We um, it's gonna be an exciting time to be a cane, baby. You know what I'm talking about? I got some. Hey, uh, I'm putting my information in chat for you guys. Please uh, to the channel. And also, if you can donate, please do. I've got some slapping TV shirts coming for you guys. We're gonna do the U and then slapping with the TV logo on the side. So you slapping. I was gonna do slapping you, which would be kind of cool too as well. But we're gonna get those up and running for you guys, and we're gonna give them out free. I would make sure we have those before um, the season starts. Also. Oh, let's touch on this real quick. And CJ Miami Canes 87, I do agree. Tate Martell has the swag like Burials. I agree. Um, if you guys do not know, um, the Rolling Stones will be, be performing on 420 at Hard Rock, which is supposed to be the date that they want to do our spring game. So it might move to Orlando. Good news for anybody who lives north of the 305. Bad news, I guess, for if you live in 305 or 974. Uh, because it's a three-hour difference, it is closer for me to get there. Um, the thing I like about it is, one, it's closer. It's a free game because it's a spring game. And two, it's also the same place we'll play Florida. So it'll give us like a test run in the stadium. Not that we'll really need it, but. David, yes, we are going to have a lot of depth at DB. Oh, let me ask you guys this. So we went over quarterbacks and running backs. Do you want to continue with the offensive um do you want to continue with uh, the offensive draft or do you want to switch over and, and pick up a defense? I mean, do y'all want to go to DBs? I mean, do there's no point of us doing linebackers. We know who our three starting linebackers are going to be. So I figured we'd skip them. Or maybe we just do defense in one whole draft. You think Blaze Jr. is going to move to safety? I like Blaze. I mean, I like, what, is his dad out Blaze Jr.? Seniors is dad, right? I like him. I love our defense. I don't really think there's much to talk about our defense. Uh, well, if we play in a 4 5 like it's rumored, I think we will play decent amount. I mean, I think we're going to be defense by committee. With that um, Gunner um, situation, I love Trajan Bandy is my guy. Uh, besides the linebackers, my, my favorite corner this year will be Bandy. Yeah, I think Bandy's going to be strong. Or he might be free. No, he'll be strong safety. All right, so Isaiah wants to go defense. Anybody say defense next? Let me get a D or an O of what y'all want to do for the next live stream as far as draft. We can go through all the positions. I mean, I think our defensive, our linebackers are going to be set. So, All right, so it looks like we got two for defense. Defense, defense. Like I said, we already did running backs, quarterbacks. Kane 77. What's up, Kane 77? He says offense. Uh, Kane 77, what position in offense? Um, receivers will be next. Tight ends got interesting because we had a lot of injuries. Um, so what do you what do you what do you think as far as offense? Um I mean, I think Brevin Jordan's a lock at tight end, so that would leave receivers. I mean, that's an interesting standpoint. A lot of people are trying to decide on who they want um, between Mark Pro, Evidence, and Joku, um, K.J. Osborne, Jeff Thomas, and maybe even D.J. Dallas, which a lot of people said D.J. Dallas is not going to go. So we got an offense. Defensive line is an option. Let me see. So D-line, defense. And wide receivers. Oh, they got another in Joku. What, David? What year is he? Charles and Joku. That would be the third brother. Oh, I didn't even realize that video was running. You guys can't hear that, can you? What? He's a senior this year. Let me look him up. Yeah. It should be clean. Yeah. Um, Charlie Joku, Wayne Till, wide receiver, wide receiver. Six foot two hundred. 
Yes, another New Jersey boy. That's interesting. We're getting these all three of them New Jersey boys. Six five, two hundred. Oh, <laughs> he graduating this year. Does he have us on the list though? He's got UCLA number one six days ago. One twenty five nineteen. UCLA, then Miami, then Nebraska. Wesley, you think he's going to Florida? David said he's the most athletic out of all three. I don't know, man. I, I want all the Njokus. I love when you see Miami Hurricanes names of these boys, and you're like, oh, yeah, I know his brother. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I've seen him before. Things like that, man. I I love it. That's what the Miami history has been about. The Miami tradition, as they like to say. Defensive line, defense, and wide receivers, you guys say y'all want to see next. Um, Super Bowl, y'all want to go ahead and just do a live stream. Like I said, I'll probably set up something different, go in the living room. Um, I probably won't even be chatting with you guys, but I'll set up the camera and the computer and just have it aimed at the TV and just be having a good time. Hopefully they won't bounce us out. I don't think they will. I think with that set up, it'd be a little inconspicuous. Charles is going to UCLA. UCLA is his number one, 78%. Hard UCLA career. UCLA ain't got nothing though. That's my thing. Oh, here's the thing though. Roster outlet, they got 10 wide receivers and two commits. What? I will watch live stream NFL sucks. Yeah, I feel you. I mean, I'll live stream with the TV behind me. And like I said, we'll turn up. And how many more transfers do do I think we'll get? I don't think we're getting very many more. I think we're running out of space. I think we are running out of space. It's a good problem to have. Sunday's game, they actually have the over and under at 56.5 points, which means they're, you know, combined about 26 or 56. And then they got the Rams winning about two and a half points. You went the offensive guard from Georgia Tech. Like I said, I don't think we're going to get too many. I think we're really running out of space. Oh, no, I got my little setup. You see that? Yeah. Yeah, the wife just got back. She said, you want a shot? I said, uh, <clears throat> I came prepared today, but I got my limes in here. Mm, my tequila. I got my ice. I will stay ready. Never got to get ready. Off in the car from Georgia. Georgia Tech can be an interesting game this year because they're not going to be running that off that option anymore. <clears throat> Three or four more transfers. Kane seven seven. What positions would you like to see? As you let us know in chat, uh, I'm gonna give y'all my information again. Y'all go. You guys, please, please support the channel. I do have a Patreon page now. Um, I have Cash App. I have. Um, Instagram, just for you guys to check it out. I do like to post on Instagram. Um, my phone number, like I said, I'll put it back in chat. You guys message me if you want to be part of the live stream information. When I go live, I will actually send a message out to you guys. You know, a couple of y'all got my message today. Hey, I do want Trev Tra Trayvon Hill, and I do want Jalen Phillips. I think we left two spots for those too, but I think like as far as like any newbies, I think we're gonna run out of space, man. We got a fat roster right now. Trayvon Hill though from uh Virginia Tech. That's gonna be a good one if we get him. Yeah, um I think we we're actually supposed to hear something about Chris Bogle today. He Originally was at Miami, and then he decided he was going to go to Alabama. Um, and so we're trying to see. Yeah, Manny wants to spend play. Manny's building a team to win this year, though. He's not building a 10-year team. He's not building a five-year team. Manny's not building a three-year team. Manny's building a 2019 Miami Hurricanes will be in the college football playoffs. That's what he's building. If you think I'm lying, please put a two-inch at or put a thumbs down 
if you think Manny Diaz is making a multi-year team where he wants to win, I think he knows that if he gets all the good players he can this year, if you build it, they will come. I love Chris Bogle. I think he's going to be a good talent. So Chris Bogle's down there now. I think I did see that earlier. Yeah, win now. Until we win, we're not going to get these regular Miami players to come and stay. Oh, that's all for a piece from my camera. Not the trap hole. Oh, no, it's something, I think. Yeah, build right now. I agree with you guys. Well, Chris Bogles was one of those. He originally was committed to Miami, and then he left where on time Manny Diaz left, and then he actually vid- visited um, Manny. Or Manny went to his house a couple of days ago, beginning or begin this week, before we all got sick in my house. No word on Jalen Phillips yet. We're still waiting here. I blaze, man. Another one. Um, like I said, we're still waiting to hear about our blades. Our blades DB six one one eighty five. He'll be a sophomore this year. He's from Fort Lauderdale. He played at St. Thomas Aquinas, I believe. Our blaze it. Um. I mean, he had 13 total tackles, nine total tackles, four assists. I mean, the Blades have the lineage, so. Whoa, primetime mixtape says out Blades is our second best corner. All right. Do we get any agreement with that? Is our Blades our second best corner? Yes, he said corner. DJ Ivy? Hmm. We're losing some good DBs this year. We lost Dean, Michael Jackson, Daquan Johnson, Red Wine, Tyler Murphy, who didn't play very much at all. All of them we lost this year. I got Trajan Bainey as my best DB. Okay, CJ Kane. I mean, I, I can feel that. Bandy and Blades. <laughs> that sounds like a mixtape. I got Bandy and Blades Jr. Jr. Amari Carter. Is that who you're thinking of? 62185. No, 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 that's Steve. Let me take it back. Let me say it. Yeah, Amari Carter. 62197. He's good too. Hey, what up, Ace Outlaw? Hey, welcome to the chat. We started off talking about the running backs. Uh, just to let you know, we did our top. Well, uh, a couple people did their top threes. Luke had Luke from Shot Town said Lingard, number one, Cam Davis, number two, Aston Martin, number three, if he can play, and DJ Dallas. David said uh, DJ Dallas, uh, Cam Davis, and then Lingard and Aston Martin. So we just checking it out. Again, I got my information in chat. Like, subscribe, comment. I really appreciate it. Everybody that donated. I want to thank everybody that donated tonight, too. 
Uh, a lot of it been on Cash App, and uh, we got a lot of people that subscribe as well. So. Let's see who this is. I got a call from somewhere in Georgia. Hello, it's your boy, Direct Chill, Slapping TV, who I'm talking with. CJ, my name is Hey, what up? What up, CJ? What's happening? You already know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just wanted to say that Cameron David, I mean, when I see him in person, when I see him in person play, he knew how to find holes and make holes compared to DJ Dallas. Like, he do made holes to go right to the like the Georgia Tech game. Yeah. He was in the holes. Yeah. Uh, he made the holes. So I feel like he got the best long care vision. I agree. I think I'm, I'm, I think my, my biggest upsell in this uh um cam davis and then i'm interested to see how lingard's going back from the back back from his injury exactly yeah uh cam davis 28 attempts 166 5.9 two touchdowns three receptions 25 a touchdown and I don't see any fumbles from this sheet, this season. You know, he, he, he carried he, when he told that ball, he really, he really covered that ball up. Yeah. Like, he really covered that ball up. Yeah, he go through the hole with two hands. I like that. Yeah. Now, he what? He's a running back. And right now, he's a athlete. He can move anywhere, but he's a special team returning the ball. You know, he's a guy after yeah, I mean, I definitely, I mean, I could definitely see them just keeping uh, DJ Dallas fresh and putting him on kick return, punt return. Yeah, so we need, we need somebody to return the ball. Exactly. I like, I like Blades and Bandy. I, I do. I think they're pretty dope. I think they'll be good. And then you got, of course, and then you got our, our, our new transfer coming in. So, um, Bolden. So that's gonna be dope. I think. I think defense is gonna be still solid again. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. I know we're gonna have to build them up. Um, I mean, with our, with our, our coaching though, I don't. I don't think that's gonna be too much of an issue. I think the turnover chain is going to get a lot of those boys lit anyway. What's that guy named? That number one, Sylvia? Sylvia? Hey, I'm going to say. He's pretty good. I feel the same. Um, the display special teams? Or are you talking about D-line? He's a D-line, man. He's a tackle. Number one, I'm going to say. Solid air, last name, solid air. Oh, Silver. Yeah, Silver will be playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's 6'2", 305. No, that's gonna be dope. No, that's perfect. That's what I thought they were gonna say. Uh, yeah. So that sounds dope. I mean, I mean, granted, what on defense are you really uh, anything that really scares you? Though I know you said defensive line. Um, just the tackles. All right, Isaiah said Bolden and Hall at safeties, Ivy and Blades and Bandy at corners. So I don't think Ivy's going to start. I think it's going to be Blades and Bandy. Unless it's Bolden and Ivy at safety and then Blades and Bandy at corner. What about the car Um, Let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, anyway, so Amari Carter, 6'2", 197, sophomore, he'll be a junior. Actually, he might. Amari Carter was decent this year, though. He did play. Yeah, you know, they were swapping him out so much. So I, I don't, you know. 6'2", 197, he's a little on the light side, but he had, um, he actually played better last year. Last year, he had 26 total tackles, five assists, two sacks. He actually would be good for that, um, that uh striker position. Yeah. But that quarterback, that quarterback, I think I still think Jerry Wiz sucks. 
You got Jaron Williams. I mean, I think I think I still think it's gonna come down to Jaron Williams or Tate. Um, I don't think that uh, Machado is gonna start. They're gonna register him. They're gonna keep him and get him used to the offense. Uh, I think it's gonna come down to Tate and Williams. And if Tate can't get eligible, I mean, you got Williams and Perry, and then maybe uh, Cade Weldon, which I don't think he's gonna see the field. I thought he should already transfer. I don't know why he's staying in Miami, but honestly, he could end up being one of those Mark Rick type. Well, I hate to say Mark Rick type coaches, but I think he's going to be one of those clipboard type coaches. Ends up being like a quarterback coach somewhere, as a sense of yeah. Nasty. Justin Fields, yep. And we got Jaron Williams. Exactly. They're running the quarterback game right now. You know what I'm saying? And so I, I agree with you. I just think, I don't know, man. We got Tate Martell up in there. Um, and I think if he gets an opportunity to play, even though he has more eligibility than one year, like I know when we're talking about Jalen Hurts, he had one year. So we would have got Jalen Hurts. It would have been a wrap. He was going to start regardless. Um but I think now, like, it's you kind of got to throw the names into a hat and just see what lands. And if Tate Martell can't play, then, of course, then, you know, it's going to be between Williams and um, Williams and Perry. And I think they want to see what Williams can actually do. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think it's a good thing for Manny. He got so many weapons. He, he just throw anyone out there right now. I'm going to tell you got to. I mean, if they coach up the offensive line right and they run a good scheme – we don't have to have, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't necessarily need the best quarterback in college football to succeed. I mean, we don't. It, it's the small thing that we haven't been able to do. The blocking. The run a good play. Uh, disguise your offense. Put people in motion. I mean, you watch the Patriots play. They run a lot of slot. Uh, they run a lot of um, posts, and they run, run around slants. But usually, they're running those boys in motion. They get them on the inside, and then they run a little quick post. Boom. Watch, you'll see it on Sunday. Watch the Patriots offense. That's all we need, man. Killing them. And Edelman, they destroyed them on that shit. And it's like you see it coming, but you really can't do nothing unless you're running like a man-man coverage where you're switching off. And in college, you got to think, man. Think about who we play. We really don't play anybody of substantial defense at all. Um, Florida is the best team we play on the, on the schedule. Uh, Florida State's always a good game, but for the most part, we could knock anybody sauce off with just a good, good play call. I'm still not about Man, honestly, like I tell everybody, I thought they were going to be better with that high speed offense, with the speed that they have, that high tempo offense with the speed they have, and they just shit a bucket. I mean, they were garbage. Oh wait. Yep, I was awake. And we were in sanctions. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you on that. And uh, what's his name? Felipe or whatever his name? Yeah, whatever his name is. Actually, right now, Felipe and Francois, y'all better watch out because y'all going to be getting hurt this year playing against Miami. It's interesting, but I think North Carolina, they were so bad at two and nine that they've got a lot to work on. And it's not just a lot to work on structurally. It's the fact that recruits. Mm -mm. Yeah, so I, I'm not really I mean, the, like I said, the sleeper game I had, I think in the video I made a mistake and said it was North Carolina game. But it's that Friday game versus Virginia. Granted, it's at home. We just don't play very good on off days, especially Friday games. Remember Pip? Well, uh, uh, last year when we went 10 and three, we lost that pit game. That was the Friday after Thanksgiving. And I was like in pit. I was like, man, that's not gonna be a good game. We do play pit at home, which is a cold game. Uh, the Duke game is the 31st or 28th of October. Uh, no, that's the last game of the season. So that, that could be cold. Uh, November 28th against Duke. That could be a cold game in North Carolina, but I seriously doubt it. Um, but honestly, don't we don't have anybody on our schedule? I think we should lose to. I think Manny Diaz is one of those coaches that like teams that we should beat. We're gonna blow them out. I think 
I think this year Miami's go, they're going to hate Miami the fact that we are blowing people out of the water and teams that we should be we're going to be blowing them out of the water. We're going to do it no mercy. I, I really think Manny Diaz has got that type of energy. He's not a Mark Rick that's trying to pull off the horses. Yeah, he did that his whole career at Georgia. Granted, he's I mean he's put what two quarterbacks in the NFL that are still playing, and he's got three, four running backs right now that he recruited that are beasts in NFL. So, uh, including Holyfield, who's going to NFL this year, and Mark Rick recruited him. That's all. That well, his, his son definitely couldn't develop anybody. So. Uh, he couldn't, man, that boy, hell, he couldn't develop a damn playbook if, if, if he had to uh, pay for it. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, that's true. So it's going to be, oh, oh, so, uh, what, what do you think? Um, you want me to do the live thing for the Super Bowl? Go live, hang out, just chill and stuff, watch the game. Yeah, I'll probably just do a, a, a Pro Canes live stream. Won't do it like Super Bowl live stream, so it won't like get tagged. And like I said, I'll just put my camera in the room with the TV on, and I don't think it'll be an issue. It'd be like the TV's in the background. People could chat and stuff. I'll probably grew out a little something. You know I'm going to have my drink drink on me because I always got my drink drink on me. I got me to handle the date, but I'm ready. Stay ready. Never got to get ready, boy. Right, I got my tack tack going, man. It's about to be nice and lit. Hey, but you already know, man. Hey, uh, I, you you did send me your text, all right, with your number. Yeah. I bet. Uh, yep, I'm gonna add you on there, and like I said, I'll start sending. I send a couple people texts out today, um, and I'm just gonna start sending y'all straight up because YouTube. No matter how I do it, a lot of people don't get it too. It's like, you know, what I'm saying we done been in there for a minute, so. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and send y'all the information out and then let y'all know we're going to be hanging out. Like I said, it's, it's going to be a fun time, but I'll, okay, we're going we're gonna to arrive for our program. Hey, who do you got in the Super Bowl? Mm, I, want, I want the Rams to win because I don't like Tom Brady. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> I feel you on that, man. I, I feel you. Um, yeah, I, I, ain't, I, ain't no, I ain't no Brady fan at all. Mr. Irrelevant. But you know what, though? I think him and Brady – or him and Belichick coming to an end, and I think Alabama and Nick Saban, I think they're going to be on their they're on their down road coach. I think it's about time for some of these guys to retire. So it's going to be interesting what Manny can Diaz Manny Diaz can do with these next you know year or two in the season. And then there's always a change of guard. You know what I'm saying? Like some team always takes over the ranks. It could be Clemson. You never know, but uh, it could be us. I got faith in us, man. What'd you say? Say it again. I do. I agree. I mean, honestly, looking at the schedule and I'm just being a straight up comparison of what last year we did or whatever. I just think that besides that, besides the Florida game, and like I said, that might be tricky because it's the first game of the season. But I think besides that game, uh, we played them, we played North Carolina, and then we play, you know, our cake schedule. And then we get in there. We only got, what, four true away games two on the road or two uh neutral site games everything else is at home yeah, and, and yeah i i honestly agree I, I i would have no problem saying if we go undefeated during the regular season it come down to clemson i think a one loss miami hurricane team can get in with a decent well with a win period but with a decent loss Hard to say the word decent and loss in the same sentence. But let's say, right? But if we lose the Clemson, let's say, by like 10 points, and we got one loss, and that's to them, I say we get in. I say Clemson and Miami both get in this year. I think it's going to be a real tough challenge to win that game. We're going to be there. But there's going to be a tough challenge the whole season. I think Manny Diaz, if anybody can get them crunk and ready to play, though, it's Manny. I think Manny's got that fire. It's one thing to have fire on a defense that's already ready to hit, but if you can fire up an offense who wants to go out there and block hard and knock people off their socks and decleat and, you know what I'm saying, make every catch and burn folks, I think Manny is the guy to do it. Man, we got so many players, man. Like I said, DJ Dallas, he might have to, like, 
put his his money into being on special teams. I mean, he might. That's how the NFL kind of goes. You see what happened, to Devin Hester. He went to NFL. They didn't give him no love, and then he went to special teams and completely broke every record ever. And I think Manny Diaz is looking at these boys like you might not be able to make it as a starter on offense, but you can get in special teams and make a difference. But yeah, that'd be mad dope. Well, all right, CJ Kings, I appreciate you calling in. Uh, like I said, I will text you on Sunday. Uh, I'm definitely going to go live for the stream. Um, and like I said, I'm going to set it up where we can just, like I said, have some good fun and get some drink, drink on and do some cheers and shit like that. And, man, have a blast. Uh, hey, yes. Tell them, like, subscribe, comment, man. Y'all donate, whatever you got to do, do something. But holla at your boy. All right, G, I'll get up with you. All right, later. Yeah, that's my boy, CJ Miami Hurricanes. Hey, some he always uh, adds to the channel. I love when you guys call in. Y'all got something to say. It's dope. Um, Y'all get more than what I got to put out there. Um, And like I said, it's a growing situation. We trying to grow together just like Manny Diaz is growing this team. And we growing, baby. We about to be hated again. Maybe I should get some shirts that say hate the you again. And put the five rings on that bitch. Joseph, what's up, man? Hey, welcome to the channel. I know a lot of people got off late. It's Friday. Uh, you might have got off late. You might have got off early. Oh, my camera ain't bugging y'all out. I'm in my lights. I got crazy lights up in the hole. Uh, we were going over the running back situation. Um, Joseph, since you're new in chat, Mo D, since you're new in chat, JU Family Blaze, since you're new in chat today. Um, yeah, you already know, man. I try to get, hey, I try to stay crunk for y'all guys. I keep my shots. I'm about to take another shot too on camera. Uh, but before, why I get this shot together for you guys, here's the question I need your top three running backs in order. I'm gonna give you the four that pretty much everybody's putting it down to Lingard, Cam Davis, Aston Martin, DJ Dallas. Go put them in chat because I'll take this motherfucker. My best, my best streams are when I'm getting lit. I don't think any other Miami Hurricane streamer gets lit like I do. I used to be a bartender. No disrespect. And if I disrespect you while I'm drinking, you don't have to watch. But I like to get lit. I drink the Tac Tac. And they drink in South Beach with the Guala Guala, the Mamacitas. All right, Nate Scott. Cam Davis, wait. Cam Davis, Lingard, Dallas, Ask Martin. CJ's got Davis, Lingard, Ask Martin. Joseph's got Lingard, Cam Davis, DJ Dallas. No Asa, Joseph. Prime Tom uh, has got Davis, Dallas, Lingard. Uh, Isaiah, you said NSD? In, in, who am I? NSD. I apologize if I'm not uh I don't know if it's here right now because I'd be getting all lit. I had to make my own care package. The wife was getting the taxes done. So uh I had to stay ready, so I never gotta get ready. <sighs> ah, excuse me. Yes, National Sign Day will be lit for us. Um, here's the thing about the transfer protocol, though. It could deter some of these players from coming to Miami because they know they're not going to start right away. But if they are smart, then they go ahead and come. Maybe you sit out um, their first year and or play four games, right? And then go back to drawing board. I mean, you can tell these players, you might not play against Florida, you might not play against North Carolina, but – um, Central Michigan, we got you in there. Um, FIU, we got you in there. You know what I'm saying? They can play four games now. So, Canes, Dallas, Davis, Lingard. Uh, number one, Kane, Lingard, Davis, Asa, if eligible, DJ Dallas, and Burns. I think Burns is going to be a fullback now. This is what everybody's been telling me. For my information in chat, uh, please feel free to donate, like, subscribe. I got a little camera on right now. 
Or Jadakiss, my guy. Uh, I'm going to the guy NSD. That sound, I thought it was one of the coaches' names. You know, we like acronyms. Look, in, in Mo D said, you remind me when I like to discuss games because I like to drink myself, but I always have a lot of talent on the team and new players. And yeah, most definitely. I'm just going to be myself. Everybody does their own thing. Uh, Hoop does his own thing. Mark Rogers does his own thing. NMD does his own thing. Uh, Alonzo does his own thing. I'm going to do me. My name is Director Chill. This is Slapping TV. I am a movie director. I do small film. But first and foremost, I am a Miami Hurricane fan, and I stay turned up. And I just got with a flu. My whole family was sick. So please donate, like, subscribe. Wife missed like three days, four days of work. I missed like three days. Daughter missed like three days of school. So feel free to donate and, and enjoy. You guys pay for this background. I am not at Mercedes-Benz Stadium for the Super Bowl. If I was, it would be super lit. I'd be walking around with the camera acting a fool. K77 said, how do you think our linebackers played last year? How do I think they played last year? I think they played the best as they could. I mean, granted, we were number one in tackles for loss in NCAA. Think about that. That was at the end of the season. Overall, we finished 33rd overall. No, we were 38th overall, 33rd in recruiting, not including transfers. I don't think there's an issue at linebacker. I don't think we're moving. McLeod, Pickney, and um, and Quarterman, I think our linebackers are lit in there. They have not had any substantial injuries in the last three years. I think they start. Um, we're running a 4-2-5, so I think if someone does get hurt, we're going to bring in a strong safety, maybe Al Blades, maybe Amari Carter. Um, um, it could be any of those boys that come in and play that striker position. So, Kane 77, so you think they played okay? I mean, why, why do you say okay and not great, Kane 77? I mean, I know it's some games. That Wisconsin game, we gave up a lot of runs up the middle. But overall – we ran, we ran the numbers. We ran the numbers game. Prime time. We got Quarterman. We got Pickney. We got McLeod. Um, let's see who we got. Let me see what newbies we got. Thomas Burns, freshman, he's too small, though, 5'11", 175. That's the boy from New York. He'll be a sophomore. I think he will actually end up being a safety of some court, probably a striker. Steve Stevenson, Walker Wilder. What up, Will Scott? What's happening? Well, here's the thing. The funny thing you say that prompt on mixtape. We run a four-two-five now, so our two linebackers are going to be our outside linebackers. Our middle line. Well, I mean, granted, we could put a middle linebacker at in in, in one of the two positions. Um, and I agree. Joseph says it's going to be Shaq and Pete. I think McLeod is probably going to be trading spots with our striker position. So, we run a four-two-five, not a strong four-three. And Yo, what up, Greg? How you doing, man? Hope you had a good day. Hope you had a good Friday. Hope you got paid today. I hope you, your wife, your girlfriend, your mistress, whoever you got out there went and did their tax return. They're getting that money back. Get that monies. Go ahead and get your bills paid up. Go ahead and buy your tickets to the Miami games. Right now, I am planning to go down to the senior game. I keep saying senior game. The spring game, which will probably be in Orlando. Um, he said, "Hey, Greg, know what say? He said, all of them's, all of them's, and then son. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'll put my information in chat again. Greg is always a donor to the chat. Mike Will, what's happening? Oh, by the way, we originally were going over our top three running backs. Uh, we had to stop the run. I agree. The striker position does help a lot with that. Here's the thing." One game that we don't have to worry about as far as dealing with a lot of controversy will be the Georgia Tech game. They will not be running the option. They got a whole new quarterback or a whole new coach and a whole new system. So I don't think that we have to worry about the option ever again. Oh, snap. 
weight limit. All right. Um, yeah, Mo, Mo D, you're right. We're basically running the same defense, but you know, uh, um, Blake Baker's he typically runs a 425. He worked with Man Diaz at Lu, uh, Lu, uh, Louisiana Tech. Yeah, Louisiana Tech, not LSU. Louisiana Tech. Um, so that means that, yeah, we'll probably run the fastest two at the two position for our two linebackers in the 425. And then we'll have someone come in there um, and clean up. We got so much speed. Mike Will made it. What's happening? Water may have not ever played again, may not ever play again. Uh, Steve Jennings have shown nothing. Yes, Blake Baker likes to blitz. Manny Diaz likes to hit people. Manny Diaz, I mean, if you think we Manny Diaz don't like to hurt people, just go back and watch that. Um, go back. Um, I don't show the labels of my alcohol because they don't sponsor me, so I just show you the ball. <laughs> Except for tequila. If y'all want to sponsor me at tequila, holler at me. It's Margaritaville, and it always comes in this cup. All drinks are the same as long as you represent to you, baby. Blake, Blake Baker does like the blitz. He's young. He's up and coming. Manny Diaz is going to give him a free run to go up there and have fun. Of course, Manny Diaz, don't get it wrong. Just because we got Blake Baker, don't think Manny Diaz is going to change the defense very much. And they did coach together at Louisiana Tech, so we shall see. Wisconsin did run all over us. Especially up the middle. Of course, you know, Gerald Willis III did not play in that game. He didn't even play in the senior bowl. So our, our defensive line did look a little different. Um, so let's – Willis was there. He was in that game, in the Wisconsin game? Yeah, he wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Willis wasn't there in that game. And he he didn't play in the uh, recent senior bowl either. We actually sat down and watched that together. Uh you like Huff, Sam Brooks, two years, 40 pounds away from being a starter. The Heat, was he related to any of the other Brooks? I know normally they're Florida State boys. Yeah, Wisconsin, I mean, they got the big offensive line, man. I mean, here's the thing. That, that Wisconsin game was 3-33. to Um... But our defense, after that Virginia game, I think that uh, we, our defense kind of gave up. They were tired of carrying the offense on their back. I think Manny Diaz was telling his boys to go out there, do your best. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just got to imagine if you're a head coach of a team, right? And just say you coaching, yeah, let's just keep it, let's just keep it standard. Let's say you coaching defense. Now, you know your offense is going to be on the field and off the field in a minute and a half. Your defense is out there for 75% of the time, which a lot of times is what Miami was dealing with. Your boy's going to be tired. You can't just yell down their throat every five minutes they give up a run up the middle. They've been on the field 75% of the damn plays. So they're going to be tired. I said Willis and Joe Jackson played versus Bonson Collins. I will check that real quick. Yeah, yeah, they both did play versus Boston College. Let me look at Gerald Wilson's stats that game. Let's see. Boston College game, Gerald Willis. Three total tackles, one solo tackle, two assists. So he didn't have his great game. This is a, as of ESPN stats, too. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, the big white boys teams, especially them country fed boys, they have pushed us around. David, you see Derek Smith will play linebacker this season? Let me go look at Derek Smith. I seen some of his stats, but I'm gonna trade this out real quick. Um who'd you say again? Derek Smith. Oh, he's been the striker. Okay. There he is. 6'2", 200. That was as a beginning of last year. He'd be a junior this year. Six solo tackles on. Yes, Greg, their offensive line transfer, the, the, 
The old lineman trying from Georgia Tech. I think we're good on D2, you guys. Jonah hasn't seen enough of him yet. I mean, I think we got a lot of potential coming back this year on defense. I'm, the thing I'm least worried about is defense. I think offense, we're going to have a lot of players that we're used to playing a lot of minutes. Maybe even DJ Dallas is one of those that's going to have to suck it up, play some special teams. I think Manny Diaz is building one of those one, one-year one NFL-type rosters where you had players that were starters the year before, and now they're going to have to suck it up and play special teams, which actually will work out great because that means our special team players will be fresh and also our offensive linemen, I mean, our offensive players. I mean, you got to think, Jeff Thomas, for instance, with all the kick returns and punt returns and stuff, uh, I think that made him tired. He often, he often did not play the first offensive – uh, play and now that he's coming back i think he's I, I mean everybody's saying jeff thomas put him on special team i say don't put jeff thomas on special teams mike will says nesta has um warren sap ability um let me look at the stats let me see what we're looking at let me see what we're looking at Did I miss anything? Joe Jackson is going pro, correct, guys? Is Joe Jackson going pro? Yeah, CJ Miami McCain's. I agree. Yeah, I, f- I figured Joe Jackson was gone. We pretty much lost all our Jackson and Johnson fives. But, yeah, uh, I do not want – let me ask you guys this. Do you want to see JT on special teams? Will Sky says um, he wants to see Jeff Thomas every time he can. Anybody agree with that? Kane77, you're saying yes. You want to see Jeff Thomas on any play you can? Yeah, he's quick. But if he's fresh for all three, maybe four, five, six, seven downs on offense, is it worth it? If you can put – if you put DJ Dallas – who is is a man of all trades. Let's not get that twisted. He's a jack of all trades, and we did look it up. He only had five fumbles all of last year. So it wasn't as bad as I and other people have said he was. If we put DJ Dallas on the special teams in place of Jeff Thomas, and Jeff Thomas is fresh every offensive play, does that make a difference? I don't know about Lingard on... I don't know, man. Lingard be getting hurt, though, man. I mean, granted, he only played one year, but I'm afraid that. Use Jeff Thomas like Percy used Percy Harvins. Or like Florida State. Or Florida used Percy Harvins. Mm. I could see that, but during Percy Harvins' days, Florida wasn't all that deep at receiver. Like, they needed those special teams. I think we got enough players that are deep. Bethel will return punts this year. Mike, I do agree. Bethel's Bethel's good. Nigel Bethel Jr., uh, DB, six foot 170. He will be a sophomore this year. So he's, I'm guessing he's about 180, 185 going this season. Bethel will return punts. I know a lot of teams, they typically put like their fastest receiver, sometimes even a running back, like we did with DJ Dallas at kick returner. If he can return a punt and a kick, I say use backups. That's just me personally. I'm I'm a, I'm I'm completely against putting defensive players on special teams because they're just coming off defense. That means punt return, kick return. Harley will be good on special teams. I can see that. I definitely can see that.
TJ and Miami Kane says we have enough talent on sideline to do special teams. Um, Dallas is number one return though. Oh, that's right. Well, that's right. In the NFL, Devin Hester played slot receiver. Um, he played what s- corner or strong safety at Miami? He played cornerback, but think about this though. His best years was at Chicago Bears and Atlanta Falcons. And that's when he either played slot receiver or he did not play. Um he did not play at all except for special teams. He played corner, okay. I mean, do you want your cornerback going out there? Let's say third down, they need either short artists or they're going deep. Right, and you take them and you run them all the way to the back, and then you want him to return. Mike said Hester didn't play much D. I thought he just mainly played slot, but I'm yeah. His first year he played uh cornerback at Chicago, but I don't believe I mean he never started. Did, did Devin Hester ever start at cornerback in NFL? Yeah, strictly special teams. That was his guy. I mean, that was his thing. And don't get me wrong, DJ Dallas, I think DJ Dallas has so many talents that he could do a lot of things. I think that might be like his upside downside is because he can do everything. Anybody new in chat, please like, subscribe, comment. Let me get a thumbs up. Actually, I don't have any thumb up, thumbs up on this chat. I got 22 people in chat. Uh, what up, Kane for Life? Um, I'll put my information in. It's in the description. Also, I just put it in chat. Like, subscribe, comment. We're trying to get up to a thousand, um, uh, a thousand subscribers as well. I got slapping TV shirts um, coming out for you guys. I think we're gonna do um, either you slapping, and then, or we're gonna do you and then slapping TV at the bottom. So we're gonna figure that out. Uh, we're gonna get that up and running. But like I said. You guys like, subscribe, comment. Also, donate if you can. You guys pay for this background. You've seen the one with the pretty background and all that good stuff. Um, All the stuff that I get, I get donated from you guys. I mean, I do put a lot of my own money into it. Cameras, computers, uh, the whole nine. You see 16 thumbs up? I don't know why I don't see it on mine. Maybe I need to refresh. I don't. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I apologize about that. Thank you. I got 28 thumbs up. So thank you, everybody, who's like, subscribe, comment. You think my drink is watered down? Shit. Hey, I wish that shit was watered down. No, I wish it wasn't. I'm turned up right now. I told you I've been sick for like three days. I'm a little lit right now, Cash. This damn show ain't water. This is a little mix, 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 it, mix, mix. Can I get that now without spilling on my computer? I'm not going to try it. Hey, anybody that's new to the channel, please like, subscribe, comment. I have my information there in chat. If you can donate, want to donate, and will donate, please do. We're doing uh, bigger and better things. Um, We're going to do a Sunday screen, uh, stream for um, the Pro Canes, and we're going to have a good time. That's it. It'll be a different setup. I'll just have the camera in the room. Kids will be running around acting crazy. I might be on the patio on the grill. I might be rolling up. You never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen. I will have a Kane's jersey on though. Right now, I'm representing my comic Capone straight cash all day, baby. Yes, the spring game. Will Sky just brought up. Am I going to spring game? I'm going to spring game. I can't tell you a reason why I would not be going unless someone gets sick in my family, knock on wood, or financially, that should be good. Um, but yes, and if it's in Orlando, I'm definitely going. I'm probably taking a wife. And I might take all the kids, too. So you guys see them on my chat and stuff. But, yes, I'm actually looking forward to it if it's at the Orlando Stadium because that means that it will have two games. We'll have the spring game, and then our first game against Florida will be at the spring game. So we're going to do – I'll probably do, like, a spring game donation thing where we can always um, – everybody can donate. Yes, Camping World, Camping World Stadium in Orlando. And uh, we can always get up and do our thing. But, yeah, I'm planning on going to that one. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be in Orlando. Uh, what is it? Uh, Rolling Stones are doing a concert on 420, which is when Enos and Man Diaz want to do the spring game. So we might end up being in Orlando, which I'm cool. I mean, I really don't want them to do it at a high school. I think last year we did the spring game at high school, but regular season games, the Orlando game, uh, most definitely against Florida. Um, it's something that I'm looking forward to. Look, listen, my goal right now, I wrote it down by my birthday, June 19th. I want to have a thousand subscribers. Um, and hopefully, like I said, I can raise enough money in the stream to take the whole family. If not, I can drive down there myself. Um, but that that's the goal. And I will set up some live stuff. I'll bring the cameras and the whole nine. Also, what's guy? What's guy? Your birthday is August 29th. That's dope. That's the day after my sister's birthday. One of my sisters. And uh, yeah, I think the game is August 31st. That would be dope, man. So I'm going to come down there and have a good time with you guys. Again, anybody that is new in chat, my name is Director Shield. This is Simon TV. Oh, yeah. Let me go ahead and add that on there. Will Scott. Bet I'll be fucked up at the game. I'll be fucked up at the game, too. You see how I like to handle this. Uh, ZJ13, thank you for coming back. Uh, Will Scott gets season passes. I know Coach Mike gets season passes. Season passes. I know he said it's only like five, six, seven hundred bucks to get season passes in Miami game if you get them early. So, which is dope. The Jorte game last year was like two something for a regular ticket or one something for a regular ticket. So, I would get regular season tickets. They do not play Georgia Tech this year. Next year, I definitely will be. I put my life on this. I will be at the Georgia Tech game. 160. 160 for the seasons? That's stupid, though. See, that's worth to go with. Man, if I lived in Florida, I'd be every day. I'd be at, matter of fact, I'd be at practices with the camera if they let me. My thing about it is I love to get turned up. Is Miami, is Hard Rock Stadium one of the stages where they sell alcohol? Y'all know I'm serious about my train train. That's the only reason why I don't go to Georgia Tech games because they do not have the drink drink available. See, Hard Rock is because it's an NFL stadium, so they got the liquor on, on deck. Georgia Tech is not, and that's the only time they know I'm playing Georgia. So, hey, I want to thank all 30 people that get the, uh, threw a thumbs up in the subscription. I really appreciate it. Again, if anybody has not, anybody that's new in here, Will Scott, I know you jumped in late. Nate, I know you already told me, Norris, what's good, Norris? Norris, we were going over, I know you were in last stream, we were going over our running backs. Uh, hey, I'm going to see me about win. I'm going to see me a, a flask and a little something, something. You know what I'm talking about? Um, right now, we're breaking down. We want Lingard, Cam Davis, Aston Martin, or DJ Dallas to be our starting running backs. A lot of people say running back by committee. Um, I'm actually like between running backs and quarterbacks. Honestly, I wouldn't be disappointed with any of them. So, he said they will buy that out on the green tree. <laughs> yeah, I feel you on that. Yeah, I feel you. Whoever wins, man, that's why I think the spring game is going to be so fun to go to because I want to see who's out there and ready to freaking play. I mean, right now, what we have winning is Tate Martell, if he can play, and Jaron Williams, they're tied for quarterback. That's if he, who if, if Tate can play. Um, running backs. Running backs has actually been a little difficult. I've got... I've had a couple top threes. I've got Lingard, Cam Davis, and DJ Dallas. I've had a couple Aston Martins, but not really. Lenora says he likes Cam or Lorenzo. So that gives Cam and Lingard both have top one spots of everybody who's posted. Aston Martin, everybody's uh, not really warm with. Um, DJ Dallas, everybody's saying, some people are saying, uh, CJ Kane said, CJ Miami Kane said, anybody but Dallas at third. And then 
Aston Martin. I don't know. I think not enough people see enough stuff about Aston Martin. So. Will Scott, you said Lingard won't be there. Why? Injuries or he ain't going to make it? You think it's going to be Cam, Astor, or Dallas? ACL. That's the thing I was worried about Lingard with the injury. I agree with that. I'm not sure with the whole Lingard thing. Um, so I think that's going to be an issue. So we drop Lingard, then I guess everybody has Cam Davis or DJ Dallas. That's if we drop Lingard, and we don't even know if um, Aston Martin is going to be approved yet to play. He might be working. Lingard might be working towards the end of the season. Um, I mean, that's a possibility. It wouldn't be bad if we got like flashback towards the end of the season with a lot of teams like being tired or injured. And then that's going into the ACC championship game. I know we got the Duke game towards an FIU towards the end of the season. Of course, we'll have Clemson. It would take something drastic for us not to play Clemson in the ACC championship. And then if we didn't play Clemson, I think the next best team last year was NC State. So that would be mad interesting. Oh, and just to let you guys know, uh, we do have the new email is slapping TV at gmail.com. You guys can send me stuff there, or you can send me stuff at the director chill at gmail.com as well. Um, please go and subscribe to if you're on Instagram, check out slapping TV on Instagram. Um, and that your information slapping TV on Instagram. I actually post usually post when I'm going to go live so. I mean, CJ Kane, the man you right now to the context list. So when it's time for me to go live, I'll be sending y'all stuff some information. He might be right towards the end of the season. I mean, we'll see. Well, I just want to thank everybody for coming and checking out the, the live stream. Like I said, the whole family been sick for a while, so... I'm going to get off here soon, man. We are going to get up Sunday for NFL. Uh, we're going to go uh, a pro Kane's stream. Um, we're going to go a pro Kane stream. Like I said, I'll set up different. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw it up. Thank you, CJ. But just add me on IG. Add me on IG is Slapping TV. Uh, and email me at Slapping TV at gmail.com if you guys have any questions. If you guys find out any news, either use my phone number and I'll put it up in chat. That is for you guys. If you want to mess with me, some if you find out some new news that I don't know about, if you have a live stream that you want me to talk about, you let me know. Um, and we like I said, we love doing a call on show, loving you guys. Uh, we will continue doing great things for you guys. You guys paid for this background and the other background I got, and we're gonna be doing mad dope stuff. We're just warming up for the beginning of this 2019. This 2019 season is about to be stupid. I'm telling you right now. Um, but again, Pro Canes. We'll probably get up, let's say, 6 o'clock. Um, uh, we're probably around 6 o'clock on Sunday. And here, uh, I'll hook up the camera, aim it towards the TV. We might be running across or whatever. I'll try to throw up some links and stuff like that. But we'll have a good time. Um, and, again, I would love you guys so much, man. It's all about the you. Again, information in the chat. Like, donate, subscribe, comment. If you guys are on Miami Hurricane Forums on Facebook, Please drop my links in there for Slapping TV. Tell them to like, subscribe, comment. We're going to do bigger and better things. I will see you guys soon. Definitely see you on Sunday. And y'all keep it tight. And no matter what, it's all about you, baby. And as always, shit. I holla. Peace.